Duncan, could you, you tell us a little about the uh, rugby league achievements or the most notable achievements of the Toowoomba Rugby League in the early years? Uh, the early years will go back, of course, to uh, the 1920s, Bob. <coughs> they are noted for our undefeated record when we had the distinction of playing for two years against all places in which rugby league was playing at that time. We played England in 1924, which is the most notorious, and the scores were 23 to 20 in Toowoomba's favour. New Zealand came across also in that period, and uh, Toowoomba won by 16 to 14. The New South Wales team came, and the scores there were 16 to nil, <coughs> which was something in which Naturally, Tom was very proud to beat us New South Wales like that. I'm glad my friend Ray Norman isn't here to hear me say that. Victoria would be defeated by 48 points to 18. And then uh, at the end of the 1925 season, after we had played the Blimber Cup series on two years, for two years, and having defeated Ipswich and Brisbane in all four matches, we were then acclaimed, of course, as the champion team of Queensland and South Sydney having won the premiership. The, the local league invited them here for the championship of Australia. <coughs> and with them, I asked Tom McMahon to come and we were successful by winning by 12 points to five. Uh, that, I feel, is the furthest back I can go in the early days. Duncan, of what did the um, team consist in 1924 that defeated England? The actual players? Yes. Whom did, they, did it consist? Mm. Yes. Well, the full-back, from the full-back, I would say uh, Mark Ryan, Jack Lindsay, and Spencer on the wings, Tom Gorman, who was the first, the only Queenslander to ever represent, to ever captain Australia on the English tour, and Jack Kameen, strangely enough, a lot of people get confused because they think Nigger Brown played, who had played in all our matches until then, but he had been hurt. And then my brother Colin and myself as halfbacks. Those were the backs. In the forwards, uh, we had uh, Dan Dempsey and Herb Steinort, Henry Libke and uh, Cecil Broadfoot, Jim Bennett and Vic Armbuster. Those were the backs, forwards rather. <coughs> 